Have you ever found yourself tongue-tied while speaking in a program? Have you ever found yourself dumb on any occasion? Or maybe you feel shy talking. Sometimes you have to speak but you are afraid. What if you are suddenly called to speak before the audience? So you don't have any preparation and you are not confident. You are feeling shy and also scared. In such cases, I'd like to offer you a method called A to F technique to finish off your extempore speech. Let's start with few words about impromptu speaking. It basically means that you are expected to speak on an event without any preparation. Or maybe you will get uh, preparation for a minute or two. Events like dinner party, business meeting, farewell party or even an iftar party. Well, we all know that if you are an experienced presenter or an expert in that particular topic, you are most likely to do an excellent job of speaking impressing the host and the audience. But what if you are not an expert and yet you have to do a good job of speaking? Here's what I'd like to call A to F method of impromptu speaking which can be extremely helpful in such circumstances. The next time you are suddenly called on stage to give a speech and you don't have a single clue what to say, think of A to F method where A stands for appreciation. So start by appreciating the organizers of the event where you are being asked uh, to share your thoughts. So you don't have to say anything clever at the uh, beginning, just express how happy or honored you are to be in front of such a uh, lovely audience. Just say something like, I deeply appreciate the organizers for giving me the opportunity to say something on this occasion. For B, simply think of the word best, because now you are going to say that the topic or issue being discussed here is best suited, topical or appropriate, which will make the uh, organizers a little happy. For C, I want you to choose the expression care and in context share one of your story related to that particular uh, event one of your real life story which will uh, make them a little more interesting and uh, they will know that you care about this so all the first three letters namely a b and c had to do with creating a positive emotion you thanked them told them that they are doing good uh, and also you have proved that you mean it uh, through an example or two now it is time to move to a different direction what i mean by that is an element of shock is necessary to create an impact. For instance, save the letter D as danger. For example, you are uh, giving a speech in an iftar party. So say that, well, it is too good to see so many people uh, sitting here having some good food, but we seem not to care about the people, uh, poor people who is living in the street who doesn't have anything to eat. We only uh, speak this, uh, speak about this in different seminars or parties, but we don't seem to take any uh, concrete solution or concrete step to solve the problem. I would like to start a charity fund today for them and donate some money in it. Uh, this will create a big shock. Moving on to E. E stands for empathy. Well, when you are giving a speech in front of an audience, it's really necessary to create a two-way communication. So at this point, try to ask some questions or try to get some feedbacks from uh, the audience. Uh, just ask a question and uh, say that if you agree or disagree, just this kind of feedback, which will create a two-way communication and there will be a bond between you and the audience. So we have only one letter left, which is F. Now you're welcome to use F as the form of finally for your concluding thoughts along with these lines. Finally, I hope you have learned quite a few things from here and if you can apply one idea if not more, then the effort will be successful. It's been Shuhag, see you on the next video. Till then, take care.